Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. This is video number six in my series on window sheets and I have been having a blast with this as you guys well know. This card uses the Hearts Come Home stamp set and the Hometown Greetings Edgelet dies. And oh my gosh, absolutely love it. You've got all these little lines of houses. This one even has a church, there's some trees. Here's a little snowman. We've got all kinds of fun stuff in here. A tag topper and some little elements that cut out stars. So super, super cute called Hometown Greetings Edgelets and Hearts Come Home. And of course you can get both of these together in a bundle for a 10% savings. Let me show you what I did with the window sheet for this card. Here's our window sheet, and it's kind of suspended. Isn't that fun? When your loved one opens this up, this opens, and you're going to sign your name right here. Isn't this cool? Just another great idea to do with the window sheets. So let's get started, and I'll show you how I did this. So the first thing I'm going to do here is bring in my cardstock and my window sheet layers and let you know what sizes they are. You're going to need um, white scraps that are the same width as your Bermuda Bay pieces or your window sheet. And I'll touch on that in just a little bit. So I've just got some white scraps here. Then I've got my window sheet. And make sure you keep track of this because this is easy to lose as you're cutting out and getting ready to make your card. I lost it just a few minutes ago. I'm like, now where did that window sheet go? Another tip I want to tell you about this is you want to make sure that your hands are clean. So I just went and washed my hands before I work with the window sheets because I had some oil on them from lotion. That'll get fingerprints all over it. And if you go wash them right before you work with window sheets, you're not going to have that problem. So I've got a window sheet that is four and seven eighths by four and an eighth. I've got two pieces of Bermuda Bay here. The smaller one goes on the front, that's four and a half by four, and the bigger one goes on the inside, that's four and seven eighths by four and an eighth. Then I've got a black layer that is four and three quarters by four and an eighth, and two Whisper White thick cardstock layers that are five and a half by four and a quarter. And I've scored each one of these on the end at a half an inch. So to do this technique, you're just going to fold on that half inch score line and burnish it good with your bone folder. And then I took my window sheet and I'm going to use Fast Fuse because this is like sticky strip in a tape runner. It's like, it's like tape on steroids. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to put my Fast Fuse down the edge of this tab that we have on the inside. Remember, when you use Fast Fuse, you want to give it that little check mark at the end. Hang on, I just got some all over the place. I don't want my card sticking in it. <laughs> because you know, most of the time I'm kind of a disaster. And then I'm going to add that right to the other one also. Little check mark. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to take my window sheet, and this stuff is very unforgiving because, again, it's just like sticky strip, and I am going to line it up with my card standing up like this so I know that I have it straight, and then I'm going to press it down into the sticky strip. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. I'm going to line them up at the bottom here, away from the tab, get them straight and even, and then I'll press that together. So, in order to do this technique, it's nothing more than putting that window sheet on these tabs on the inside. So then when you open your card, you've got that window sheet that's going to have our images on it. You could do all kinds of floating images um, on this. I just chose a Christmas one because I knew that these houses would look really cool. So let me show you just a couple tips here. I'm going to take the smaller of the Bermuda Bay and I have my 
white craft ink pad here and I just punched out a circle for my moon so I'm just going to place my template on here and I'm just going to sponge in my moon and that looks great. Then I took the little Santa Claus sleigh with my Memento black ink and I'm going to get that inked up really good and I did it kind of at a little tilt here so we're going to stamp that on there. So we're going to take our black layer and we're going to adhere that to the front of our card. Let me find a glue bottle with some glue in it. Here we go. This one feels full. Hmm, like brand new. It's almost like a brand new Versamark pad. You just want to go, ooh, pretty. <laughs> okay, here comes our black layer. And then this little front layer that we made, we have to do some stuff to it, right? We're going to take a piece of Whisper White that is the same width as our Bermuda Bay layer and our house dies here. And remember, when you use these dies, I hope you get these, they are just adorable. When you use them, the houses, you wanna pay attention to the houses. You wanna make sure the houses look straight. Not like this, because our hill, we've got a hill that goes up. So we wanna put our houses on here like this. The other thing you wanna do is I left enough room to stamp my greeting here and still have some of the sparkly ribbon down here. So make sure that you're pushing this up far enough and make sure your houses are straight. I'm going to run this through the big shot and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got this accomplished. I'm bringing in my big shot die brush here. You're going to, well, I was going to say gently take it off, but there was no gentle about that. It just pretty much fell out, so that's cool. And now I just need to come in here with my paper snips because I need to snip it right on the ends here. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look at almost all the little elements have already fallen out. I'm just gonna give it a little go over with my die cut brush. If you guys don't have one of these, you need one. It is worth its weight in gold. I promise you, you will absolutely adore this. Okay, look at all the little pieces are out. I didn't have to do any poking with my pokey tool. That's amazing, right? Because if there's anything that I don't like, it's like piddling around with stuff like that. It really makes me a little insane. Then we're going to stamp our greeting on here. And I didn't have this mounted. Okay, I'm using Bermuda Bay ink. Make sure I've got that right set up. I know I stamped one upside down and I was pretty not happy with myself. Yep, <laughs> nothing like a triple check, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, joy to the world. You're gonna glue this right onto your layer. And I left a little bit of um, that Bermuda Bay peeking out down here. You can do whatever you want there. You're going to adhere this on here. And I just put a little glue down here and then I added a little bit of glue to my houses. Just a tiny little bit. My houses, my tree, to make sure they're gonna stay in place. I don't know where I think they're gonna go. Seems kinda silly, but that's what I did. Okay, there we go. Make sure you're stamping your reindeer and your Santa Claus up high enough there. Mine's a little low, but it'll work fine. <clears throat> and I see that I'm running over the edges here just a little bit. Turn it over and take your paper snips and just trim that off. It's the easiest way to follow along that line and get it nice and straight. And then, have you seen this? I think this comes with another roll of red. I'm not sure because I can't find it right now and I opened it up a couple days ago. But I think you get two rolls of this, a red one and a silver one. They are absolutely beautiful. And I am just going to tie this around my layer here because I thought it was the perfect embellishment. Who doesn't like all that sparkle with your Christmas cards, right? 
If you wanted to, you wouldn't even have to make this a Christmas card. You could leave the Santa and the moon off and you could stamp a thank you here because this is a really versatile little stamp set also. You guys know how much I love that, right? Just going to trim these off. And then I mounted this layer on dimensionals. Why? Well, because I can. <laughs> and I love them. They just add that little extra something that makes your cards extra special. And we get a lot of dimensionals in a pack. And make sure you're using your edges like I'm doing here. Why would you throw that away, right? Let's see if I can get these off. My fingernails are in terrible shape, you guys. They're like super thin and breaking. I can't even hardly poke them into the dimensionals. I know, you're all sobbing right now for me, right? Yeah, it's a pretty silly thing to whine about. But it's my little thing to whine about. Everything else must be going pretty good in my life, right? <laughs> I can whine about my weak fingernails. Okay, here comes this layer. And we're going to set this right in here. Ah, oh, love it! Okay, now, what to do with this inside. We've got this layer, and I stamped the greeting on there that says, enjoy the warmth of the season. Let's see if I can get this on here straight. Yep, I always like to do that straight. And I use the black ink on the Bermuda Bay. Make sure that's right side up. And I'm just gonna stamp right up here. Perfect! I'm on a roll. Things are going well. And we're gonna glue this in the back side of our card right here that looks pretty good and now for this part so what I did is I ran this image through the big shot twice and I made sure that my cardstock was as wide as what's left over on my window sheet here and it looks like it might just be a little bit longer but I don't think that's going to create any problems let me measure that for you make sure I can tell you what size this is it is four and three eighths so you need a piece of scrap whisper white cardstock that's four and three eighths so this piece I'm going to glue right in place here and the other piece I am going to glue so that it's a perfect little match here. I'm going to glue that right in here so it's perfectly placed over top the other images that are here. And I use my Fast Fuse for that. Glue doesn't work real good on window sheets, but Fast Fuse is fabulous. If you don't have any Fast Fuse, you can use your snail runners, you know, your, your regular tape runners. They work great on, on um, window sheets also. Here we go. There is our fabulous card. Is this not a wow card? This will make your loved ones go, holy cow, that is a lot of darn talent, right? <laughs> Adorable. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series on window sheets. Um, it's something, it's a product that's often overlooked and I always have so much fun. It makes some spectacular techniques. There's just a lot of cool things you can do with it. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp .com. And if you don't have the current catalogs, let me know and also send me your address. I'd be happy to send them to you. This is a fabulous little bundle here and this would also work perfect to welcome somebody to your church perhaps or to welcome somebody to your neighborhood. That would make great, great welcoming cards. A housewarming card, how cool is this? You can do a lot of neat things with these houses. It doesn't have to be about Christmas. So, thanks so much for stamping with me today. Hop on over to my blog. It is at www.estampabove.com. I'll have all the dimensions in one place. And you'll also find ordering links for all of these supplies that I have used. So you can just click on them. It'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store where you can order your very own Hearts Come Home bundle and make some fun cards like this. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye-bye.